Um, so Bishop Brazes, we're at the mission here, but tell me about the guy that you've been studying. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's this guy called Walter Miller, Walter Samuel Miller. Walter Miller left the shores of England through Liverpool. Uh, in 1898 and he went to um, Tripoli for two years mm. just because he believed God was calling him to go on mission mm. to Africa mm. and Nigeria and a place called Kano in Nigeria, in northern Nigeria to be specific. But he would avail himself, he was willing to avail himself for two years to go learn and study the language of the people of Kano. Mm. So he went to Tripoli for two years, and after Tripoli, he goes to Nigeria, and arrives in Nigeria, I believe, on the eve of Christmas of 1900. Wow. And he now begins his trek for three months, <laughs> on foot, up to Northern Nigeria, to where he believed God was calling him to go do <laughs> mission. Now, I found all of that fascinating yeah, yeah. and decided to do a research around him. Yeah. Now, mind you, he was not just anybody. He was a medical doctor by training. Yeah. He had all the opportunities to become anything, to make any amount of money as a medical doctor, but he gave all of that. Wow. Went to Nigeria yeah. and trekked on foot for three months to where God was asking him to go do a mission. Now that place is called, this, the, 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 the community that came out of this exercise is a place called Wusasa. 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 And if you go to Wusasa today, there is a huge, a big, gigantic hospital that is the fruit of his labor. There is also a school that he set up to raise indigenous local uh, chiefs children and um, I mean you just need to come to Usasa yeah. or go to Usasa yeah. and you will see the fruit yeah. of this man's labor yeah. because he agreed to go on mission for when, the Lord. When he went to Kanu that didn't go very well so he hence oh, Of course, yeah. of course yeah. Their destination was Kano. Yeah, yeah. Uh, five of them. Yeah. But when they arrived Kano, the Emir of Kano was not impressed <laughs> with their coming. He said he didn't invite them. Secondly, yeah. he was not interested in his people being Christianized. Yeah, yeah. So he sent them back. <laughs> you can imagine yeah. having traveled on foot yeah. for three months. Wow. By the way, one of them died on the way. Yeah. And by the time they were sent back, one had become invalid. But on their way back, God gave them an opening, some two, three days journey on foot back wow. Wow. Uh, in this place called Zaria. Yeah. And, and that's where your theology college is. That's yeah. where today yeah. a community is, a, 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 is, is founded. Wow. And the place is called Wusasa. Yeah. Now, that place also is where the theological college mm. that I'm rector yeah. of now mm. is located. So yeah. it's a small Christian community yeah, yeah, yeah. within a largely predominant Islamic yeah. situation. It sounds like a place that we could learn a lot from visiting from the West someday to, to well, learn, you, learn what you're doing. Certainly, Wusasa, I would always tell people it's not just a place, mm. but it's a phenomenon. Yeah. Why? Because it takes God to allow a small community yeah. to exist within a large, predominantly Islamic context. Bishop, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank God bless you. you.